Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. The San Francisco 49ers um, have added a new quarterback to the team. Uh, this year has sort of been the quarterback experience. Uh, Brian, Hoyer, Brian, Brian Hoyer ended up start, starting out the season um, coming in because of his uh, experience um, with the coach's offense uh, in the past. Um, and then from there, um, we turned it over to uh, C.J. Beathard. Um, I talked about in my in my video after the game on Sunday, basically, um, that maybe the Kirk Cousins deal <laughs> maybe wasn't that far out. Maybe that, that C.J. Beathard isn't our quarterback of the future. Uh, but the 49ers have turned in a different direction, making a trade with the New England Patriots. I can tell you as a 49ers fan, immediately... I felt really excited about this. And then after that, reading a little bit about the trade, I'm not that excited about it. I, I can tell you honestly. As of right now, um, we have Garoppolo coming in. I honestly don't remember where Garoppolo was drafted from. I don't remember where he went to college. I don't remember what round he was. But there's been a lot of buzz about Garoppolo for a, for a few years now. A lot of people thinking that him being in the um, Patriots system being Brady's backup, that he's sort of supposed to be the next Tom Brady um, or something close to that. He is in the last year of his contract. He's going to be coming in. The Niners will pay him about $400,000 for the, the last remaining games. Um, and then from there, we have the big idea of do we franchise this guy? Do we try to sign him to a long-term deal? If Garoppolo doesn't want to play ball, and things that the Niners really need to keep him, we are going to have to franchise him, which is going to cost $24 million for a one-year contract. And does Garoppolo immediately bring success to the 49ers? Um, to me, honestly, one of the biggest question marks I've had for about the, la the last year and a half was, is Kirk Cousins coming to the 49ers? Kirk Cousins didn't really shoot down the rumor that he wanted to play for the San Francisco 49ers last year, um, but the Redskins ended up franchising him yet once again, making him the $32 million man, and who's going to turn down that money? Um, Cousins being a fan of the 49ers, you know, living in the area, uh, I, I would love to have that guy on our team, and I'm not really 100% sure that the Redskins are going to want to keep him around after the season that they're having right now. Um, paying him that much money or paying him that much more money if they have to franchise him yet again for a third time. Um, uh, Garoppolo comes in. There was a lot of buzz yesterday. I mean, a second round pick in the 2018 draft. Some people's thinking that it was really a steal for the 49ers at 0-8. You know, where do they go from here? I can't remember that damn guy's name. But uh, there was one year Brady got injured, um, and then the guy took the reins. They ended up not making the playoffs. Um, and at the end of the season, got traded to the Kansas City Chiefs, um, signed a deal with them. He was their quarterback for about two or three years. Um, they never really did anything in Kansas City um, with him there. He was sort of a average quarterback, to say the best. But he was one of the top-paid quarterbacks in the league. Damn, what was that guy's name? I'm only scared that Garoppolo is going to be that guy yet once again that is not going to save the 49ers. Um, we have games coming up on Sunday against the Cardinals. Um, after that, we have a game against the Giants. We have a bye week. I'm guessing that Sunday isn't going to be the debut of Garoppolo. I'm guessing they're going to want him to learn the new system uh, and see what he can bring uh, to Shanahan's team. Um I honestly, at this point, I'm not going to be saying that he's the quarterback of the future. Uh, I'm, I'm not ready to jump on board with that. Yesterday, I was. Um, we're going to have to see what comes and uh, go from there. But uh, we, I don't think, honestly, this makes us worse. I don't think it makes it better. I think we're honestly the same team. It's, just, it's sort of a wait and see sort of thing. I'm not going to be jumping up and down saying that we're going to finish the season at 8-8. Eight and eight and win it out from here on out because Garoppolo is coming. Um, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what this brings.